Hello again, welcome back. Uh, this is a continuation of my previous video. Uh, the last video I made two arrays x and y and today I'm going to plot them. Uh, array x uh, was 100 evenly spaced points between 0 and 2 pi and y is an array of the sine of all those values. So it's basically the x and y points of a sine curve. And I called this I gave this program a different name and copied it to a different file. Uh, you don't have to if you're following along. It doesn't it doesn't really matter. Okay, so these two arrays are set up. The next thing I need to do well, first I'm gonna take out these print statements. They're from the last video. Okay. The next thing I'm gonna do is uh, write these data points to a file and open them in GNU plot. So the first thing I need to do is create a file. And I do this with the open command. And I think I did this in a previous video. Uh, this unit equals one here is just, this one just means, uh, it's just a label that I'm giving this file so that I can reference it later on. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is write to this file. I'm going to do that with a do loop again. I'm going to say do i equals 1 to n. Okay, uh, the, one, the first one here in the write function is referring to uh, this unit 1. So it's telling me where, well, I'm telling Fortran where to write the data points to. And the asterisk is because I didn't give it any specific kind of formatting. Okay, and then I'm going to give it the x and y points. And then end the loop. Okay, so when it loops through here, uh, it's going to write to this file data.dat and again the parentheses are just referring to elements in the arrays x and y so it's going to write each element from 1 to n of x and y and the last thing I need to do is close should do it. I'm go ahead and save this and see if it runs. Okay, looks like it compiled okay. I'm going to go ahead and run it. And as you can see it created this file data.dat and I'm just gonna go ahead and look at it and make sure it worked okay. Okay, so this left column is the x values and this right column is the y values. So x starts at zero, so that's good. And it should go to two pi. And it looks like it does. Okay, so now I have this data file that I can run in GNU plot. I'm going to open GNU plot, and if you don't have GNU plot installed, uh, obviously you're going to have to install it or this won't work. Okay, and this command here, plot and the data file, and using 1 and 2, uh, the 1 and 2 refers to the columns in the data file. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this. And let me move it over to the screen here so you can see it. And it made this nice plot here. And of course, there's all sorts of things you can do in GNU plot. You can set a title. Uh, I mean, let me just, just for example, if you type set grid, it'll, it'll make a grid for the plot. So uh, that's how you get a nice looking plot. 
out of a Fortran array. Um, I have a module that I use with subroutines in it that automatically, uh, all I have to do is give it the vectors and it it saves this data file and runs GNU plot for me and it's already got all the settings that I want as far as the title and uh, the, the, the axis labels and everything like that. Uh, maybe later on I'll go over how to do that. Um, if you, I mean if you google GNU and Fortran uh, you'll find that some people have already some people have their own solutions to this. Uh, I, I did my own because I like to keep it simple and there's only a couple sorts of plot that I need, plots that I need, so don't want to overcomplicate things by, you know, trying to incorporate every GNU command into Fortran somehow. But anyways, uh, that's all I wanted to show in this video. Uh, thanks for watching and take care.